Hello all, in this video we are going to demonstrate how to do a sample program in NetBeans. Sample Java program in NetBeans. For that, double click on the NetBeans icon that you have already installed. It's taking time to open. Okay, so my NetBeans has opened. So you see the start page here. If you want to close, you can close. Um, here you notice file, new project. You have an icon here as well, new project. You could do either one. So let's create a project and then here we'll use Java with and. Uh, we are not using any other uh, um, build tools we are using uh, ant build um, with java and then select java application click next if you get here anything that you want to activate make sure you click on the activate okay so now i'm going to create a project name you could use your last name maybe project one okay and uncheck create main class we don't want to create main class here just uncheck it and then finish so now project has been created so you notice here the java symbol java coffee cup symbol would be there and this is the uh, navigation that you would be able to see organization of the project folders source packages and libraries so we have JDK library already here, and then we have a default package. If you want, you could rename the package. Uh, you could create a new package, okay? So, and when you create new package, let's name it as names, and then finish. If you want to rename, you can refactor and rename, okay? So, um, this is my package. So always in, inside the project, you will be having packages and inside the packages, you will be having classes. In order to do that, right click on the names package. You could go to have a Java class, right? So now I want to create a main class here. For that, go to other. Click other and then other here and look for the main class oh. it should be in the java itself it should be in the java um, java main class okay so click next and you have to give your class name okay so class name should be always with the uppercase right i'm going to give print name box if you have multiple words in a given class name you could capitalize the first letter of each word and remaining letters are lowercase okay so that's a uh, naming convention that we usually follow and then click finish so it shows class name package sorry class name print name box packages names okay and in that we are creating that so now we have created this one okay so the class has been automatically created since we have since we created main class you will be seeing public static void main automatically now we have to uh, print our name in a box so 
I want to show you how you would be printing. So this is what you have to print. Okay. So print name box. I'm just copy pasting instead of typing the number of characters and all. And the next one, I'm doing S out and then control space. You would be able to get whole thing system.out.println and quotes as well. And then one more time. Okay, so we have uh, finished our project. In order to print our name in a box, I'm saving the project. If you see here the save icon that saves every file in a project. And then run the project. If you want to run the project, you could do it two different ways. You could click this one, which automatically, which would automatically compile and execute the whole process or you could be able to do right click on the file of the main class and then click on run file okay so that would be shift plus f6 or you could do this okay let me do this and it will ask you okay do you want to which class you want to do i have only one class here and then click okay okay so now i got the output so compiled and then run. So compilation, execution automatically done in NetBeans here. Okay. So now we have to see where this project would be stored. For that, you could hover your mouse on the project on the file, which you could see the path easily. It's under C documents, NetBeans projects there. Okay. So for that, you can go to your Fire Explorer, documents, NetBeans projects, project one. Under source, I have package name. This is my class. Okay. This way you would be able to uh, create a project. And if you want to submit this project, what you could do is you could zip this and submit it. Okay. You don't have to submit for this, but you could zip and submit if you have to submit. Okay. Thank you.